Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I have started on another little project, uh, the start of which is right here, uh, on the Quartzcraft server. Um, last week we got this pathway up to the top of the mountain built. Um, there's a hole there. I've been hit by a few creepers around these parts and I've tried to fill it in as best I can. Uh, it's also going to be night time soon, so we're going to need to sleep. But we have our pathway going up round the back of the mountain and coming out up there. Uh, we're not doing anything with that today. Today we're going to focus a bit more on the nether. Uh, and to that end, I have some furnaces over here. Uh, smelting some cobblestone that I'd already gathered. Um, so that we can start constructing in the nether. Uh, for today's episode... Uh, the things we're going to be doing are very much uh, structural, they're not going to be looking pretty. Making things look nice is going to come at a later point um, in the process. So for now, uh, I'm going to go to sleep and wait for these, and I'll probably cook another stack in each of them to be done. And then we can carry on with what I'm planning for today. So I will see you in a second. Okay, we've just uh, slept the night away here. Uh, I had to sleep a few nights away to get all the smelting done that I wanted to do. But we have... Uh, now, let's do maths. That's 16 stacks of smooth stone. And what we're going to do next is turn all of this, if I come into here, into stone bricks of various kinds. I'm going to do start off with just one stack of chills chiseled stone bricks um, and for now I'm going to try and build the tower functional rather than detailed um, and then uh, we can detail it later on so we're going to do a lot of stacks of uh, stone bricks as well and with the stone bricks if we need to we can turn them into stairs after the fact, so if I put them in, we can do that. We can also turn more into chiseled stone bricks if we need to as well. So that's worth keeping in mind. Um, so we're going to turn all of these into stone bricks. And then head through to the nether and start on this project a little bit. Um, you'll see as soon as we get there why I need really to do this sooner rather than later. Um, we also have our... our that's going to be our project chest for this, but it's empty right now because this is all we need so far. Um, so if I come over here, um, let's just eat a potato before we go through. There we go. So we've got quite the interesting predicament as soon as we spawn in. And this is currently our tower up to the path. Um, I want this to be like a, a sort of tower with different spokes coming off it to get to different places. Uh, so we'll have one up and across to there where our tunnel to the rest of the people are. Uh, we'll have one across to the nether fortress probably. Um, there was a point as well where all the ghasts, well, not all the ghasts, all the pigmen hated me on site in the nether uh, because I... Uh, killed a ghast that had just killed some pigmen. Apparently that transfers aggro over to the player, which I didn't know, uh, but I do now. So, uh, we are going to uh, start off by, let's come right up to the top of this tower. Um, there are already places on this tower, and you can immediately see why I want to replace it with something a, a little more functional. Um, I've already had to replace parts of it with cobblestone because they've been blown up. Um, so we're going to come right up to the top here. And for starters, just replace this tower with uh, stone brick. Let me. We're almost up here. We'll have another spoke going off that way. Um, I think it would be quite a cool look to have like this one central tower that gets me everywhere I need to go in the nether. So we've got... Uh, our tunnel is at, uh, a few blocks up from this, so we want to go up that high. 
essentially. So we're going to start, uh, let's get some on our hotbar. I should have taken a couple of things out of my inventory, really. Um, so we'll go for this next. And then that. And then this will be the central part. So we'll bring the central bit up in line uh, with that hole. So that's uh, up one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. That's not up six blocks. We'll go up four for now. That looks about right from eyeballing it, but I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, you know what, let's just hop down. And from here, we can build across. And that will... Uh, we can go probably almost diagonally here. Uh, let's just dig that block out. And then we know exactly how high we need it, because I can't count from a distance, apparently. We're going to almost exactly hit this, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, this will be, again, a temporary structure um, for before we've actually finished the tower, but just so that I have a way to get um, to where I need to go. So we'll do that for now, then we can come down here and continue raising this tower up in the same way it was done before. Then we'll come up to this one and we'll actually um, do that maybe. It's a way to get up. It's functional over form, like this entire project's going to be for now. Um, so first steps is going to be, uh, we can get rid of this now. So let's do that quickly. Um, this was a temporary path be built by Pizza when he was coming to deliver stuff to me. So I do really appreciate it. Um, I have no need of it anymore. That will do. So we've got to be very careful because we don't want to fall down. We don't have elytra or anything. And we're currently above lava. So I should probably be holding on to the shift key a little tighter. Uh, but we'll get rid of this. And then I will come back in uh, when I have replaced this entire tower with stone brick for now. I'll see you in a second. Okay, we are back. I've finished building this tower. Uh, up to the height it needs to be and that just means I can get around a little bit safer uh, I did have some fun with some ghasts while I was doing this uh, and as such there are some dead ghasts somewhere that looks like experience that we can go and pick up there are a couple that spawned very close by uh, that I had to take out oh yeah look we've got a ghast tier we've got a few ghast tiers oh that's a hole I didn't really need to jump over. Um, so we've got our little tower and that gives us a sense of height. Um, I don't want this to be a hugely wide build. Um, what I'm thinking is it doesn't necessarily have to be centered on that point either. I think I'm going to move it over this way slightly and have like a little extra building on the side. Uh, that connects to it to house the nether portal. So what I'm thinking is something like... Um, a four... And this will be the outlines of the floor. Um, so let's fill this in with netherrack for now. Something like that, and then have the walls be uh, like this. Um, I'm not sure whether we want to... What would be the option for that? 
it would just bring it out further, except it wouldn't, it would just uh, round the corners off less. So I think I like having that um, just one block thick for the corners. Uh, so let's fill in this floor here, except we're going to want to take this down to make it... You see what I've been dealing with, uh, to make it level with our nether portal. So we'll do that ever so quickly. Um, and then we will have a base for this tower. Um, oh, a little bit of lag there, that's fine. Uh, and once we've built the tower, we can, or while we're building the tower, we can take down the uh, pillar as necessary. It's just a lot safer and more uniform now. Um, so we'll do there. Like this. Yeah, lots of fun with ghasts, and by fun I mean I don't like ghasts. Um, and we'll get these in there. Let's just fill this center in as well. The magma blocks have also been slightly annoying to work around because they hurt if you stand on them without crouching. Um, but they're not too bad. So I think... Mm, I think I'm going to have to... I think what I want to do, it might break my nether portal placement, uh, is build a 3x3 three three nether portal rather than a 2x3 nether portal. Because I want this to match and line up nicely and things like that. So what we're going to do is um, quickly, so we'll do 3, 1, like that. Um, then we've got a seven by seven tower, I think. I've done something wrong here, I can't work out what it is. I think I just need to do that. But then that's four still. And we just need to come out one further with these. No, we need to... Oh, I'm confused now. I'm just confusing myself. Uh, let's take those off thankfully I've got a second pickaxe with me so we want three like that that just gives us a little more um, of a central point to work around uh, and we can do stuff with stairs and probably half slabs actually, to go up in a spiral. Um, yeah, we'll go up in a spiral using stairs or half slabs. Uh, that sounds good to me. These ghasts are something else, I tell you what. Um, so I'm going to... What am I going to do? I think... That's probably going to be... It's been a bit of a shorter planning episode today. Um, but we'll call it a part one, and I will work on part two, where we actually start to build this tower. Um, let's just go back through into the overworld. We can douse ourselves... Um, and then we can run to our house because it's night time. This is the sort of experience I've generally been having on this server. When it rains, it pours, and it's 
very uh, very much a stressful experience trying to get anything done sometimes because if you leave one dangerous situation there's probably another one um, but that's going to be it for this episode we've got some planning done for our tower and uh, in the next one we will start actually building it we've still got plenty of stone brick so I don't need to gather anymore but thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time bye bye